I'm finally giving in. Today we're at Walmart. And today's mission is to find a scooter that we can build up to be a custom flat scooter. And I got a lot of inspiration from seeing Billy Perry videos. If you guys wanna watch a ton of fire Walmart BMX videos, click the card above, subscribe to Billy's channel. Here we are, the scooter section, I think. I wanna build this up, I wanna put pegs on. I wanna have four pegs, and I'm not sure if they sell pegs in Walmart, but if they don't have pegs, we'll try to find something that we can use as pegs. Jet the Mars scooter, another Mars, light up wheels. That one looks sick. Mag gear, oh no, what is this? No pegs, no pegs, no pegs. I think the best bet we're gonna have is either between the Mag gear or the Razor, just because of those two brands have made decent scooters. More of a coin flip situation right now. And it's not really too much about the price, but I think this $20 MG kick scooter might be funny to do. Because if this thing does work out and we can do some tricks and find out pegs to put on this. Back in the day before there were pegs, we used to use socket wrenches, like the end of a socket. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to find a long bolt, like a long axle. And I don't know what's gonna fit, but we have to go to the hardware section and see what we can find. I think this might be the best bet. It should clear. Got plenty of room between the... You got plenty of clearance from the wheel to the deck, so these should work. You got the Magger Carve, it's about 20 bucks. You got these set of sockets, it's about $10. And then these screws are about maybe $2 each pack. Just about 30 bucks. Thank you for shopping at... Thank you for shopping at Walmart. Yeah, make it happen, honey. <laughs> I like them to get in here, dudes. Yeah. On that camera, okay? Yeah. Okay, you have a nice day. Thank you, too. Uh -huh. Back at the nest, we try to build this thing up. Hopefully, get the pegs on or the sockets. I got the wrong size socket. This doesn't fit. I'll go back to Walmart, get a different size. I'll be right back. All right, the right size. Let's continue. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we got the, we have the pegs on in the front. They're actually really solid and they're super long because you have plenty of clearance. This is actually very impressive. See that space? You even go longer. And then the back one was just really difficult to get really solid. The left one in the back is decent. The right one has a little play. I just have a bad feeling about this. All right, we got the first ever Walmart Flatland Custom Complete. Taking some inspiration from Billy Perry and his YouTube channel, I like the idea where he did 10 challenges anytime he did get a BMX bike from Walmart. So I'm gonna try that too. I'm gonna try to call out 10 tricks and try to complete them on this scooter. The pegs worked out really good. It is a $20 scooter. Let's see how it works. Alright, so we have 10 trick challenges up on the screen right now. I'm really gonna try to do the hardest tricks I could possibly do on a scooter like this. Challenge number one being a no-handed manual. Works good, pegs are solid. It's just really slow. Like, I don't know if it's the plastic and the core or the urethane itself. It doesn't want to roll at all. Could be the bearings. Typical Walmart bearings. Trick challenge number two, let's try to do a hang 10. hardest part is that these wheels don't roll. The scariest part is trying to go fast on the scooter. All right, trick number three is going to be a mega spin, but I want to make sure when I do this mega spin, I have to spin at least three times. I think it's fair if I spin a mega spin three times on this, it counts. Challenge number four, which is the nose manual. And the reason why I wanna do this one earlier because there's another trick that I wanna try. And I think that if this thing can last a nose manual, if this scooter has enough strength to hold a nose manual, then that other trick should be possible. <laughs> J 
challenge number four, nose manual bar spin. All right, challenge number five is going to be a fakie manual whip. And I think just because of how not sturdy this scooter is, we'll have to do it one foot. Dude, the scooter is getting smoked. Just getting a little sketch, hopefully this thing lasts. Challenge number six. We're gonna try to do a half lash, and a half lash is basically on the front pegs, doing nose manual, kicking it like this, and then bringing it back. Woo, it's getting crazy. Look at the head tube angle on this thing. Now that we're on challenge number seven, which it might be one of the hardest tricks in today's challenge list but I think it should be easier than the other ones that I want to try later on. But we're gonna go back on the back pegs and see if we can bring this up and do a back peg combination. Three more tricks. We tested the straight nose mount before and did a bar spin out. I wanna see if I can do basically the exact same thing but backwards. So a fakie nose manual, fakie bar spin. This is what I was talking about before. I wanted to make sure that if I did try this, the scooter would last going forward because if this thing broke going forward, it's definitely not gonna feel good going backwards and trying the exact same trick. So fakie nose manual, and hopefully we can get this bar spin out. All right, we made it all the way to challenge number nine and 10. Both tricks are gonna be on the front pegs. First one is going to be a whiplash. So a full whiplash going from one peg to the other and back on the deck. And then the second one, challenge number 10, will be a no-handed hitchhiker. Both feet on the front pegs again, dropping it down, completely letting go, balancing, coming back and landing on it. That was actually really clean. How the hell did that just work out really good? And I thought this was gonna be the most challenging, but that was, what, three tries? All right, final trick, final challenge. And this scooter, give you guys a little update, is nearly broken. This thing is moving all the way. It's being held by these rivets right here. The bars are actually turning every single time I do a trick, so I have to knock them back. Challenge number 10, if we can make this happen, we can complete the Walmart custom scooter challenge. We're doing a no-handed hitchhiker. What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Dude, this thing. I get it, I get it. I understand why a lot of YouTubers go to Walmart to film videos, to an extent. So if any of you watching are interested in a custom Flatland Walmart scooter that will barely last 30 minutes, make sure to get your hands on this complete <laughs> as you've seen in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. I actually have a few more Walmart video ideas that I'll probably spread out over time. One's going to be really good. <laughs> I'm gonna shut down all those Walmart scooter videos in one video. But if you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments, give me some ideas. I love experiments, I love challenging myself, and that was the main reason why I filmed this video. Shout out to Billy Perry for killing it with Walmart videos on his BMX bike. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and comment down below if you wanna see more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.